Hello friends and welcome to a new video. My name is Nikon and every week on this channel we talk about filmmaking, we talk about how to be more productive and more consistent making videos for YouTube and not only. Um, today I want to tell you what are the main differences between DaVinci Resolve free version and DaVinci Resolve Studio and if it's worth to switch and when is the time to buy uh, the Pro version which costs $300. Let's go into the computer and I'm going to show you the website where you can access it and you can read it for yourself um, and see what are the differences and is it actually worth it. So going into the link that you'll be uh, that you'll find uh, just below this video you'll uh, go straight into here and then you'll see you can download the free version and you can buy the version uh, which costs about 295 pounds here in UK and it's about $300 in US. And what's interesting, and you have to know that when you're buying a license for DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can use it for two different computers. Either you have a Mac or you can have a Windows computer or you can give it to someone else, you know, that because you can use this, this code on two different machines. So it's important to know. Um, so let's just quickly read what are the main differences between the free version and the paid version. So the free version, in the free version, you can use uh, it to edit um, and finish up to 60 frames per second resolution as high as Ultra HD. Uh, so you can't really work um, in um, timelines more than 60 frames per second. You get extensive color grading tools, including Luma, HSL, 3D Keyers, Color Warper, HDR tools, video collage, elastic wave audio retiming, and more. Plus, it now also enables collaboration, so multiple people can work on the same project all at the same time. And uh, what are they saying here once you've learned, and it's actually is very important because it's true, once you've learned how to use all these free tools that are available on DaVinci Resolve 18, you can actually go and pay um, $300 and buy uh, the studio version, which I actually eventually did. And the main reason why I switched to the pro version is the noise reduction. Yes, noise reduction, if you need it, then in DaVinci Resolve Pro Studio, DaVinci Resolve 18, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it could probably compare to the one in Adobe Premiere, uh, which I never really used because I don't really, you know, I didn't really understand how, Davin how uh, Adobe Premiere worked. I was always a Final Cut Pro fan and I used to uh, edit in Final Cut Pro for the last 10 years because recently I made the switch to DaVinci Resolve. But with the free version, there are obviously a lot of limitation. limitations that you can't use the whole power of your computer. As I said, you don't have noise reduction, uh, you don't have a lot of 3D tools. And when is the right time to make the switch? I think it's quite obvious. You make the switch and you pay for this DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 when, by working, you realize oh my God, I can't really do my project because I'm missing this plugin or I'm missing the, the noise reduction capabilities and I need this function. So I think it's important to um, go and buy the version then, but start using DaVinci Resolve because the free version, it's absolutely phenomenal. And actually, let's see now what is in the paid version. We can actually see what DaVinci Resolve Studio offers. It offers uh, up to 120 frames per second um, with a whopping 32K uh, resolution as well as supports for multiple GPUs for real-time playback and professional 10-bit formats and accelerated H.264 and H.265 hardware decoding and encoding um, and you can see actually actually they're offering you a lot of uh, a lot of tools like you know the uh, the resolve uh, um, effects the remote scripting api more gpu acceleration adv advanced noise reduction and i have to be honest i used the noise reduction and my footage was incredibly 
incredibly noisy because either I shot with a wrong ISO, I had a, I shot a wedding and it was so bad I thought I'm going to embarrass myself giving this to the client, but actually, you know, this is when I made the switch to the paid version and the noise reduction made miracles. And it is actually very, very true. Look, look, look at this. It worked, it worked a treat for me. And then you see you've got the lens distortion correction that, that you you know you can use only in um, DaVinci Resolve Studio, professional HDR scopes. Um, and then you've got the stereoscopic 3D remote grading. Then you can use um, this. You can use with uh, with the more people with your team. You know the color space transform language scripting and automatization. Automatization. Um, um, you know, and it, it really is absolutely you know phenomenal. You know DaVinci Neural Engine. It's 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 just it's just crazy how how good it is you know i've got the immersive 3d audio and honestly if um you're a beginner youtuber you probably don't need all this um tools that uh, davinci studio uh, offers um but um i think in time as i said before you know go on the website check all the specification and only when you will understand or you will find out that you know the free version has a limitation it doesn't allow you to do things then you go and buy um the um, the paid version but i think for like 80 percent of the old creators here on youtube or even for professional work you might not need the studio version but uh you know it's always good to have it it's only 300 dollars and honestly if I'd have to spend $300 on Final Cut Pro or on DaVinci Resolve, I'll just use DaVinci Resolve all the way. It's a little bit trickier to use. I mean, if you're coming from Final Cut Pro like I did, yeah, it is a little bit... Um, the learning curve is a little bit different. I mean, you need some time to practice, to learn, and there are great courses online, even on the Blackmagic Design website. They have great um, uh, tutorials where you can uh, learn, um, you know, the basics of editing or um, um, or like the, the audio or the color correction. It's absolutely fantastic. And I have a video on this channel where I talk about why I made the switch from Final Cut Pro to DaVinci Resolve. But yeah, these are the um, the main things, uh, the main differences between the free version and the paid version. And, um, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found some value. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and uh, happy creation. And if you want more videos like this about DaVinci Resolve, about the Canon R5C, then, you know, you are in uh, the right uh, place. I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.